I get lots of emails and messages every day from subscribers all over the place. And uh, I got an interesting message through my social media pages yesterday from a guy whose wife likes to bake bread. And she had something very interesting to say uh, about the quality of flour with a particular supermarket. Stand by. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing all right, I'm not too bad. Let me know how you are in the comments, everything's all right with you, and uh, you're gonna have a good day, that's the main thing, isn't it? And good to see you all, thank you for your support, it's appreciated. Now, let's have a look at the supermarket, shall we? I got an email, well, it was actually a, a Facebook message for, from a guy with a little story to tell about something that Morrison's may or may not be up to. Now, I think what's best is if I read the story, so you've got it verbatim, and then you can make your own mind up. So here we go. Now this uh, is all to do with flour supplied by Morrison's, and as I said, this guy's wife likes to bake. Hi there, hope you are well. I'm fine, thank you very much. I have a story for you. My wife always baked her own bread. She always bought Morrison's plain flour to bake her bread. In the last two months, she noticed that the flour is not as nice as it used to be. The smell and the taste changed, and it's not as white as it used to be either. She sent a message to Morrison's customer service, telling them the problem, and she asked if they've added anything to the flour, namely of the creepy crawly variety. I'm choosing my words carefully. She didn't receive a message back. Well, she wasn't having this, of course. She wrote again, asking if they have, and, you know, pointing out they haven't answered her question. This time they wrote back saying that they list everything on the side of the package that could cause an allergy. No mention of creepy crawlies being added to the flour whatsoever. She wrote back again asking why they're not answering her question. And guess what? They didn't respond at all. What do you think of this? My wife is allergic. She made some research and it looks like that people who are allergic to seafood or fish can develop a reaction to creepy crawlies. That's nice of them, isn't it? Uh, with the food standard agencies, they should declare everything, I was led to believe, uh, including creepy crawlies. I mean, flour is a bit of a, a bit of a minefield anyway. I mean, me personally, I have a gluten intolerance, so I have to be very careful what I have. And, uh, and it's all declared on the side of the packaging, but if things are being added and you've got issues with uh, certain things in there, you need to be told about them. And for the supermarket, I mean, I, I'm pointing out Morrison's in this case, but for any supermarket to not answer honestly a query by a concerned customer, in my view, is disgraceful. Absolutely disgraceful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. A uh, bit of a, well, creepy crawly one, isn't it? And we know this is where it's going with not only flour, but many other foods as well. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Toodaloo.